an opening statement. Thank you, Chair. <clears throat> Chair Rouser, Ranking Member Nap Napolitano for holding this hearing on the administration's fiscal year 24 budget request. Budget hearings are an uh, important opportunity for authorizers to have a broader discussion about how to support the federal agencies we oversee and ensure the resources we provide line up with priorities and expectations. House Democrats have consistently supported the work of the Army Corps and have a long history of providing the Corps with the funding they need, or it needs, to complete the work that we ask of the agency. We know the Corps carries out projects of high importance across the U.S. The Corps supports our economy and supply chains by keeping ports, harbors, and inland waterways operating smoothly and efficiently. The Corps also constructs projects that prepare our, our communities for hurricanes, droughts, and floods and, and protects them from impacts. This work has only increased in importance as extreme weather events have grown in frequency and intensity due to climate change. It is far cheaper to invest in preventive measures than to recover after the fact. That's why House Democrats strive to proactively provide the Corps with the funding it needs to put more water projects into action. The bipartisan infrastructure law is a prime example of this. We provided a massive down payment, a total of about $17 billion, for the ongoing construction of critical word up projects. To its credit, the Corps has shown exactly how and where they, they can spend that money, nearly all of it already being allocated. These BIL dollars at work are making a positive impact on water resources infrastructure. In contrast, the across-the-board cuts of 23% proposed by the Republican leadership to non-defense spending during the debt limit negotiations would have brought many water projects to a grinding halt. For the Corps specifically, a 23% cut meant $2 billion cuts, uh, of cuts based on fiscal year 23 appropriations, including a $40 million cut to the investigations account, which would have otherwise been used to generate more than 10 feasibility studies and a more than $1 billion cut to core operations and maintenance work, which literally keeps our economy afloat. Fortunately, these chaotic outcomes were avoided when we passed the bipartisan budget agreement. The more modest 1% cuts agreed to within the bill are surely a relief to agencies across the government, but now the House should keep its word instead of turn its back on that agreement. Congress can and should provide the Corps with more dollars to implement projects authorized in word of bills. I hope the appropriators hear, hear us on that. With all that we continuously require and expect of this agency, we need to support it with funding that allows the Corps to do the job that we ask it to do to execute the work that benefits communities across the country. So I want to thank the witnesses for joining us today, and I look forward to your testimony. With that, I yield back.